Hello and welcome to the Rhythm and Roots Show with Rowan and Al of the Dublin City Rounders, your weekly dose of ragtime, music hall, bluegrass, country blues, early jazz, western swing and more. We've got live sessions and interviews with guests local and around the world recorded at Beardfire Studio, Dublin, Ireland. Be sure to like Rhythm and Roots on Facebook, catch up with the podcast on Spreaker.com and don't forget you can become a Rhythm and Roots Patreon patron today. Now enjoy the show. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are listening to Rhythm and Roots on Near FM 90.3 with me, Rowan, and my brother Al here. How's it going, Al? Hello. Not too bad. Cool. Good to know. Uh, we've got an incredible show today. Uh, lots of, uh, of really cool music. We've got the incredible, I know I've said incredible twice already, and it's, mm. you know... You can say it a few more times if you, you like. Yeah. All right, let's see how many more times throughout the show I can say the word incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Start counting. So we do have the incredible... That's three. Excellent. Dory Freeman joining us on the program later in the show, all the way from Nashville. Dory is uh, someone we are big, big fans of mm. here at Rhythm and Roots. Incredible. Uh, did I say incredible? You did, yeah. Good. So I was up to about six there. Uh, incredible, incredible artist. <laughs> I'm stopping the counting okay. now. I've I think we count. should. I think we should quit while we're not too far behind with this yeah. uh, little running joke. Jory Freeman, of course, who performed at the uh, the Trad Fest, she popped in uh, to have a chat with us uh, while she was here, and also played some live music, which you're going to enjoy later on in the program. Dory's incredible. I know. And uh, I'm sure you are going to agree. If you haven't already uh, had the fortune of coming into contact with her music, also on the show, we've got new music from Terry Gray, uh, Irish artist, Dublin artist, who uh, went and recorded her record over in Nashville. Uh, it's a great little, uh, great little album, and the first single, Home, is, uh, is out now, and we're going to give it a spin later on. And also, uh, Dean Maywood's new single, Jane, is out today, and we're going to give it a little airing here as well, some more excellent, excellent homegrown Americana. So first of all, we're going to kick things off with a little bit of old uh, blues and western swing. This is Ashley and Foster with The Bay Rum Blues. Well, I went to Gay Stone and started drinking Bay Rum. First thing you know, the police grab my arm and says, come on, boy. You jailhouse bound Well, hello, buddy I know you Slipper, run down to your on your way to the railing chain. While I drunk one bottle, didn't mean no harm. Next thing you know, the police grab my arm, says, Come on, boy. You chain gang bound, second offense. Now some people says Bay Rum's a good tonic. My buddy says it's good for your stomach, he's on his way to the railroad chain. Well, election night I went uptown, them beer on hounds hanging around pretty close. To the rail is changed Roosevelt was wet and a Hoover was dry Give me bay rum and let Hoover by I'm on my way To the rail is changed You have a great way, and I'll do 
gives me such a thrill I know it always will My head is turning And just from learning Your estimation of me And as for you, I'll say I feel the self-same way You're the cream in my coffee You're the salt in my stew You will always be my necessity I'd be lost without you You're the starch in my collar You're the lace in my shoe You will always be my necessity I'd be lost without you Most girls tell love tales And you'll find each phrase dovetails You've heard each known way This way is my own way You're the sailor, of my love boat You're the captain and crew You will always be my necessity I'd be lost without you Irresistible Annette Hanshaw there with your The Cream in My Coffee from, I think it was 1928. I could uh, really go for a coffee right now. Yeah, it does make Probably it... shouldn't have played that song also, after I've only had one coffee today. That is true. And it's already 4.30, Al. Yeah, How did you I get... know. <laughs> um, starch, you know, what's the deal with the starch in the collar thing? I Do you don't know. About know. That? I think isn't we'll this, need isn't to... starch in potatoes? Yes. Isn't it also in, like, sugary foods or something? Something like that. I was that. reading about brewing and and whiskey, and there was mm. something about starch in that. Yeah, so yeah. How does that get on the... your collar? I don't know. Is it a good thing? It is a good thing. It, it's, it's a good to thing be. if you get it starch on your collar. It makes it all. Yeah, it, no, it makes it um, it makes it rigid. Hmm. Sorry, we're we're young, silly boys. You know nothing about. Uh, well, it must be polymer. like a, a laundry kind of thing, it right? Is. If yeah, you it has put to it be. in it to make it rigid. Yeah, well, uh, maybe while we're listening to one of the songs later on, we'll uh, we'll get on our phones maybe, and Google yeah. exactly what the starch in the collar is and, and let everyone at home know, because I'm sure everyone I doesn't know. I know, everyone's know. listening to this show for these big, big topics. Important topics. Speaking of important topics, uh, we got the wonderful Terry Gray releasing her uh, debut single here uh, on the show. She uh, is, like I said, from Dublin originally, but she started playing music professionally in Lanzarote when she was only 14. Uh, and then she, over the years, she's gone from kind of soul to rockabilly and, and has kind of settled on this Americana uh, country, kind of classic country sound. Did she ever try dubstep? I don't know if she tried dubstep. She might try. That, that could be what's next, mm. Al. Who knows? Anything. The the world is, is Terry's oyster. Is that a saying? Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know why it is, but it is. <laughs> and, uh, of course, so she was inspired by, by the greats like uh, Patsy Cline, Johnny Cash, Chris Christopherson. Nothing wrong with, with those guys at all. Uh, and then, of course, she went over to, to Nashville uh, in Tennessee, and she recorded this record. She, I think she's still working on it, but uh, there are this is the first single from it, basically. Uh, it's still in production there. Uh, and Grammy Award-winning producer Randy Kors, uh, he worked with the likes of Dolly Parton, Hank Three, uh, Randy Travis and uh, he is working on this record so very very exciting for fans of Americana and country music particularly those uh, who here in Ireland are uh, I, I think 
you know, we, we get a lot of the, the Irish and country thing, of course, is huge here in Ireland, a uh, very successful industry and very popular genre of music. Uh, but the Americana is, is something that uh, it's always wonderful mm. to see new Irish artists uh, entering this field. So very, very warm welcome to, to Terry Gray and her debut single. This is Terry Gray with the excellent Home. <laughs> Yeah. 
never compare to Joy Songer there with Who's Naughty Baby Are You? And I've always been wondering this. Who's Naughty Baby Are You? That's one of life's great mysteries, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? I had a dream last night, Alex, and you were in it. Really? <laughs> yeah. So so I saw you there and you looked very kind of, um, you looked a bit uh, uh, irritated and disturbed. Mm. So I was saying, what's, what's wrong, you know? What's wrong, Alex? And and you were saying, well, finally I got you to, to open up about mm. it. And, uh, and what, what it was, was, you <laughs> you're on a website right, right. where it's uh, it's kind of like a um an automated uh uh <laughs> girlfriend app okay <laughs> and so <laughs> and so you type things in like have you been looking how at my search history <laughs> So you type in things like, how are you today? And they'd like, <laughs> with an algorithm, they'd respond in a realistic uh, girlfriend kind of way. Anyway, mm. the reason what happened was you'd started, you'd, you'd done this for a while, but it turned out, <laughs> it turned out it was a, a real person <laughs> and you were really sad. So that was my dream. Uh, it was actually nice. a person. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh. So anyway, um... We better talk about Dean Maywood. That was the end musical. of uh, our weekly segment, Rowan's, <laughs> Rowan's Dreams. Dreams about Al. <laughs> so if Tune anyone in next else, week yeah, to find out else. what he dreamt about next. Yeah, well, look, and if anyone else has any dreams about Al that they'd like to share, please mm. do text them into the show on 555555555. Okay. <laughs> next up, we've got uh, Dean Maywood, another uh, really exciting Irish uh, Americana artist making music at the moment. There is a uh, His debut EP is due out in May, so do keep an ear out. But he is releasing his first single from it, Jane, uh, today. So uh, very, very excited to be able to share this song on the release date of the, the song itself, the single, mm-hmm. uh, and very uh, excited that people can listen to it and then go like his page and, and keep an eye on him if you're into this kind of stuff. So he loves... Um, 
that kind of uh, vintage 70s golden era of, of, of country rock, country pop. Or not country pop, that was more that came much later. Uh, but, you know, things, your Credence and your, uh, your Flying Burrito Brothers, but also John Prine and Jackson Brown and people like that. Uh, and, and it comes through in the music. It's lovely and warm. Uh, Hot Press Magazine described the debut single as an absorbing listen, a heartbreaking, hushed hymn full of passion and pathos. Uh, so, again, you know, it's, it's something like I was saying, with regard to um, uh, to Terry's single, absolutely wonderful that there is so much really cool uh, Americana music coming out of Ireland at the moment, and we're only in January, so surely very good things to look forward to throughout the year. So do enjoy the uh, new single from Dean Maywood here. This is Jane. For her, said it could take her anywhere if I played it right. Put my heart on a stage and I watched it stand. How those eyes could take me anywhere. I hope they take me home, darling. It's late and I don't want to leave. Darling, it's late And I don't want to leave without you I said it's late But I ain't gonna leave without you She woke up just around sunrise Wiped the sea from her eyes Lit a cigarette Five foot four and drowning in a long blonde hair Vision in my underwear Picks up my guitar She sang every word in harmony And before she turned to go I cried at sleep Baby, please don't leave without me And I know it's late but I ain't gonna leave without you She said it's late But I ain't Maywood there with Jane, and we have looked up what starch is. We have indeed. Uh, we are now qualified starch experts. Yeah, so I think, I mean, it's just it's starch. It's, 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 it's starch, starch, yeah. Starch. yeah. It's but, just starch. But you can get, it's called laundry starch. You get it in a packet, or sometimes now you can get it in an aerosol can called um, spray starch, spray yeah. starch, I yeah. think, and it, it hardens the fabric while ironing. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know about that, you do now. I've heard, I've heard this since forever, and I've never mm. looked into what starting your ironings is and now we're, now what was that a sentence yes of course it is yeah um now we've ordered 12 
packets of spray starch, so yep. our clothes will be extra stiff next time we do the radio show. Exactly, exactly. We're not going to be able to sit because we don't need to sit. We need to talk on radio. Oh, yeah. Well, our pants, we can spray the pants in like a seated position so that, that oh, they could become do that. a chair so we can't. Put, so put the it. pants on first, yeah. then spray the pants, then iron them, because it only works while they're being ironed. Anyway, listen, we got one more song before the ad break, and coming straight up after the ad break, we've got the incredible Dory Freeman. So <laughs> do stick around and enjoy the show. This is a little bit of Wilmer Watts and the Lonely Eagles, which fighting in that war of <laughs> I'm called up the volunteers, I shouldered up my gun. First Spaniard that I seen, I dropped my gun and run. But I was fighting for this battleship of Maine. I was fighting in this great war of Spain. Fighting for the battleship of Maine. Oh, get back, Spain, I don't on your name. I'm fighting for this battleship of Maine. Marched out on the battlefield, I fell upon my knees. First thing my eyes fell on was a great big pot of tears, but I was fighting for this battleship of Maine. The tears, they were greasy, me did was fat. The rest fought the Spaniards, but I was fighting that while I was fighting for this battleship of Maine. It's all about this golden rain. All about this fellowship of Maine Oh, get back, Spain, I don't own your name I'm fighting for this fellowship of Maine The blood, it was running, I was running too You might be good exercise and nothing else to do While I was fighting for this fellowship of Maine the captain asked me why I run, was I afraid to die? Told him the reason that I run, because I couldn't fly, but I was fighting for this battleship of Maine. It's all about this golden rain. Till I had a little baby, I never knew that I could love someone.
Ladies and gentlemen, to Rhythm and Roots uh, on Near FM 90.3. The song you just heard there was Like I Do, performed live in studio uh, by the one and only Dory Freeman and uh, and Nick, uh, joining her on percussion there as well. Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to join us on the show, Dory. Yeah, and thanks for having us. having us. Not a problem at all. Um, I, I was talking to you before, the, before this chat here anyway. Uh, it must have been about three or four years ago. Um, myself and my brother, we finished a show and this, this guy came up, obviously here in the same, or I mean, it's, it's not exactly the same, but kind of, you know, slightly Appalachian. I think we did I'll Fly Away or something like that in a few mm-hmm. tunes, you know, and he came up, he's like, do you know Dory Freeman? Do you know Dory Freeman? Dory Freeman? And I'm like, no, no, you know, and, um, but he was, he was so zealous and he was so into it and he was so into your stuff that I wrote it down on my phone and I went home and I went on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, this is good. So uh, as soon as I saw uh, that you had dates here, uh, I reached out uh, to Gary and um, we, we made it happen. So it's an absolute pleasure to have you in the studio and to hear you perform live as well. Uh, so let's go through a few things. I mean, first of all, this is your first time in Dublin. Yes, first time in Ireland. Wow, first yeah. time in Ireland. Uh, yeah. And do you know, like, what's... Sometimes I ask people this. Do you know? Do you have any like heritage relatives? Yeah, What's going I do. On there? My um, my grandmother's maiden name was Dooley. Okay. So I doesn't like get much more. It's Irish pretty than Irish. Dooley. Yeah. <laughs> so somewhere, somewhere, um, you know, in a few You'll generations to... back, somebody came over from Ireland. Well, that's amazing because I mean, and I think even the the, the part of uh, the country you're from, the states. I'm going to write read it this time so mm-hmm. that I get it exactly <laughs> okay. right. Uh, well, first of all, Galax. That's probably the coolest sci fi name of a place I've ever heard. Is that yeah. how you call it? Galax. Galax. Sorry, wow. ev- literally everyone that's not from there says Galax. So also, it's... I might have to uh, step in and correct you on Appalachia before Dory rips your head off. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, sorry, okay. So, how do I've what have I tried to let that go? No, no, no. <laughs> let's let's Appa- well, tell me uh, about this. Most people say Appalachian, Appalachian, or Appalachian. Oh, okay. When you read it, it looks like that. Yeah. But yeah, but generally everyone in the area that we live in says Appalachian. 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 Okay. Whew. I'm just glad you guys are on the other side of the room and there's no sharp objects near Dory that you can throw at me. So, okay. No, I appreciate that yeah, because really, I mean, my uh, my experience of it is, is you know, reading the, the backs of CDs, you know, and things yeah. like that. And I just pronounce it Well, I mean, I feel way. like the farther north you go, like in the States, people do say Appalachian. I mean, it, it just really softens. depends on huh. where you're at. But right. Well, I, trust, I trust you over those those. It's part of our crusade. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Correct. To, to correct the pronunciation of Appalachian. <laughs> well, it's working. I'm not going to forget. I saw the fire in your eyes there. <laughs> it scarred me deep in my soul. Oh, so <laughs> Appalachia. Uh, so you're from uh, Virginia and Galax. Galax, yeah. Um, how, how did you... I know you come from a musical background, a musical family, but for those who don't know, how did you get involved in music and develop it? Uh, well, my dad and my grandpa are both musicians, mm. and my dad, he plays and teaches for a living, so I was just kind of always around it as a child. And yeah. um, when I was little, he tried to get me to take fiddle lessons from him, and I just had no interest or patience mm. for it at all. So um, he just kind of let me pursue it on my own, and then eventually cool. I started to play guitar and sing and write songs, and so just kind of... Being around it all those years, yeah. eventually I got really? involved in it, yeah. So quite organically, really. Yeah. Have you gone back to the fiddle since? No. No. What a steep <laughs> learning curve. It sounds yeah. terrible for a long time. Well, I just, uh, <laughs> I just don't have that. patience for yeah. it. I, I mean, I'm not a very, like, you know, I realize that you have to commit a lot of time to yeah. learning instruments and guitars about as far as I yeah. can go. Well, look, so. the thing is, I suppose the thing that sticks out to, to a lot of people when they first hear your stuff is, is the voice, and that's the... Um, that's the really pure and and uh, and unique and beautiful thing about what you do, and of course it's important to surround yourself with good musicians to support yeah. that. There's no need to learn the fiddle, is there? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I'm past that. Yeah, it's all good. Look, no one's gonna no one's gonna care. It's all good. So <laughs> something as well we were chatting to earlier, and it's it always makes my heart skip a beat a little bit when someone uh, you know mentions or references the Leuven Brothers. Um, you know, hugely hugely influential, and uh, in my opinion, probably the best close harmony duo i've ever heard absolutely agree you with know that, yeah. and so how like because my my 
the way I found them or the way we came across them was through things like Graham Parsons and Flying Burrito Brothers and, and the Birds and stuff, them doing Christian Life, Satan is Real, songs like that, yeah. and then researching back from there. Um, but how did – is it something that, again, your dad and your grandpa used to listen to? Or? Yeah, it's something that my dad – just played a lot. I mean, he has a big record collection and as a child, he would just play a lot of different kinds Mm. of uh, music for me, which I think has had a big impact on why I I play so many different styles. But, um, Leuven Brothers was definitely one of the earliest groups that I can remember listening to. And, you know, it's just always, it's left a big impact. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. I saw your, um, your Instagram post, uh, Santa is real. Oh, yeah. Over Christmas as well. <laughs> yeah. Which I thought was very cool. I showed up. It's a pretty great one. So uh, another thing I was just, uh, I, speaking of um, Instagram stalking, uh, I, I call it research, but, you know, <laughs> it depends on, on, uh, on your intention. At least there's True. a radio interview, so a, that, that helps my cause here. Um, but uh, who else was uh, Jim Lauderdale. I saw you oh, uh, yeah. hanging out with him a little while back. Yeah, How was that? He's do... a great guy. We've, yeah, we've oh, it was great. I got to do... Um, a songwriting workshop with him at IBMA in, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Mm. And uh, it was, I mean, it was really fun. It was great. Yeah. yeah. Isn't he? He's one of great energy and uh, incredible kind of enthusiasm for what he does. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. We played with him before in uh, uh, in Dublin, in Whelan's. And um, he was so, so, in, so encouraging and so. Um, uh, present, you know, as well. Yeah. I think a lot of a lot of artists who've been doing it a long time, it's very easy for them to kind of do their sound check and 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 disappear, and then you know, kind of make themselves very scarce. Which is it's it's personalities as well. I think some people that suits them better, but um, he's unreal for kind of the interaction and and. The oh yeah, support. he tries to really connect with yeah. everyone. I think he's yeah, kind he's of like good. a fairy godmother of like country <laughs> music. You know, he really yeah. he's very encouraging and wants people to do well and. Very nice guy. He is indeed. Um, speaking of another nice guy, uh, by the time people are listening to this, of course, this will have been yesterday. This is a pre-record. So, uh, but there's a, a show taking place tonight. Hopefully, most people who who listened to the show listened to it last week and have got their tickets and are going to the show anyway. Um, but you will have done uh, tonight. This is very kind of, I don't know, <laughs> Doctor Who or the Twilight yeah, Zone or something going on here. But uh, tonight at St. Mickens, as far as we understand, that's the uh, the pronunciation. Uh, in Dublin, you're playing with uh, a, a guy who's a bit of a legend here, uh, Neil Toner. Uh, he's he's a great songwriter and he's a, um, a huge, um, I guess, well of information. He's a huge studier of, of, of bluegrass, Appalachian music and, <laughs> yeah, and all sure. that kind of stuff. Um it should be a, a really good show. How how did that come about, or how did you did you get in touch, or was it just through the trad fest? Or I, it must have just been through trad fest. Yeah. I, I we honestly didn't know that we were even paired until we got yeah. the trad fest brochure, and we were like, "Oh, <laughs> this is cool." <laughs> yeah, excellent. Yeah, good. Well, now you'll have a great show, and it, it, they, the styles should match really well together. Um, so for anyone who uh, who who didn't catch it, I'm sure there'll be uh, some photos and stuff like that coming up on social media over the next little while. So in terms of the whole um, the recording thing, you had the record uh, uh, "Letters Never Read" in 2017, mm-hmm. um, and that was produced by uh, Teddy Thompson which is really cool. Uh, do, do you want to talk a little bit how that all came about? Yeah, so he um, he produced my very first record as well. Oh, okay, and, cool. Um, I just reached out to him on social media, and it kind of it worked. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, that's amazing. You know, surprisingly that's amazing. worked, and it just kind of snowballed from there. And um, So he produced the first one, and then I asked you know, if he'd like to work together again, and he did. And um, he also produced the, the one we just recorded that yeah. hasn't come out yet. So it's been a good team so far so and tell us about oh sorry go ahead Nick. we'll be opening for him tomorrow in oh, belfast right. yeah, so oh really if you yeah. are hearing this why was this on friday yeah yeah that's so this is friday night uh yes yes friday okay. night and they've we'll still be... got time it's 4 30 on yeah. a friday so at the box i mean you black, can... the black box in belfast black box. Yeah. At the black box in belfast yes Opening for Teddy Thompson. Yep. How did it? Because this, I, I checked your dates on the website and it wasn't up there. Did, was this a well, bit of a last minute thing? Or? It might have no, been a it's little... probably just my lack of, <laughs> um, you know, career business savvy and forgetfulness to put things up online. Well, but, thank you for mentioning yes. that because anyone who is listening to this can indeed hop a train. Or, of course, if they're listening in Belfast, if they're streaming it, they can just walk down the road, I presume, to the black box. Yeah. Excellent. That should be a really good show. Yeah, it'll be yeah. fun. And then after that, um, on the twenty seventh, is there anything on the? Is there anything before the Glasgow show? After um, between Belfast and no. Glasgow, okay, a plane flight. I oh, yeah, a plane flight. Just well, a flight. that's good because Some if you were swimming, I'd be a bit worried. 
<laughs> Wandering. And it's your first time in Glasgow as well? Yeah. Is it your first time in the UK in general? Or? No, I've been to um, London a couple times okay. uh, and Cambridge. And and we were just at the, uh, what, Bristol? The what festival? They call it? Yeah. Oh, the Long, the Long, Long Road, Road Festival, festival in, okay, Bristol. in Bristol. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, I've been to England a few times, but never to Scotland and Ireland. Excellent. And so with the new record, it's done and dusted. When's it out? What's the story there? It's pretty much done. Yeah, there's a few things we're kind of going back to and just mm-hmm. like tweaking, but um, hopefully it'll be out like in the early summer. This Excellent. Year. Yeah. And yeah, are you going to come back or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be back in May for uh, Kilkenny. Kilkenny Roots, Roots Festival. Festival. Yeah, no, yeah. it's Kilkenny Roots Festival is um, is one of the... It's it's just so well supported that town. They have a they have a comedy festival as well in Kilkenny, and um, uh, Roddy Clear, the DJ, and at KCLR, they love your stuff, and and um, John Clear, who organises a lot of the stuff. It's 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 very it's very familial. It's very friendly. It's really well supported. Awesome. People come from all over the country, even from Europe, to to go to it. Um, so you're going to have a, a really good time. And so the record will be out. For that, are you going to um, be? It probably won't be out at that point. It'll just be. Oh yeah, because that's almost. really early. Isn't yeah, it? it'll be yeah. the cusp. Yeah. Okay. We have a uh, slightly undercover project coming out before Ooh. then, though. Hopefully, the with his the uh, super secret. What? We've been working on a, a record of with Dory's grandfather. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, oh wow! <clears throat> with a lot of his songs. Yeah, he's, he's eighty-six. Whoa! Wow! Excellent. So and so, this is um, is this when's when's this going to be out? Because I got to hear this. Probably. Well, definitely before before May, sometime oh, okay. in the next okay. few months. Springtime. Um, well, listen, yeah, do send late that winter, over springtime, but yeah, I'd love to it's play um, a few tunes. mostly original songs that he's written over the years. Wow. Um, and then a couple like old standard covers. Yeah. Um, and it's Nick and myself and my dad and my grandfather. So wow, oh, that's got to yeah. be fantastic. Yeah, it's and that's really great. Good. It's, it's almost like a, a a memoir or something, isn't it? You Absolutely. Because yeah. has he ever recorded anything? Of yeah, stuff he before? has, but only in band formations. Okay. He's never done like an actual solo record just of wow. his own material. So excellent. Yeah. I'll be looking forward. Do do send that on, please, yes. and we'll give it some airing here uh, over Ireland side. I don't know is that a, this side of the Atlantic. <laughs> um, so. We've got to wrap up shortly, um, but is there anything you would like to say with regard to the song we're about to hear? It's a new one. Um, it hasn't really been recorded. Is this appearing? This isn't appearing on the record even, is it? Yeah. This oh, will it be is? on the new record. Oh, yeah. cool. Both Excellent. these, songs, yeah, both will of these songs will be on the new record. Yeah. Okay, great. But um, this one's the newer of the two. You said you've played it live a few times, but... Yeah, they're both about the same. I guess okay. we've been playing them live for about the same amount of time. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, the one that you played first is one yeah. that I wrote about my daughter. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you. And uh, yeah, this next one is another new one. Um, What's this one about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just like missing missing your loved one when they're gone, and yeah. I c- kind of what it's about, to, or what it feels like to be um, in a relationship with someone who is also a musician, and when they're gone traveling and you're at home, and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of about that. A bit of an on the road song as well. Yeah. 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 Well, listen, uh, I'd like to thank you so much, both of you, for, for taking the time to, to drop in. I'm sure it's uh, it's been pretty hectic. You've got you to gotta get off now and uh, get ready for the show yeah. with uh, with Neil Toner at uh, St. Mickens for the, the Temple Bar Trad Festival. Um, yeah. And everyone listening at home, do enjoy the next tune. What's the name of the song? Like, uh, wait, that's how I feel. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot oh, what I forgot, we're I doing. I forgot because no, we forgot too. It's, it's, all uh, good. it's called That's How I Feel, yeah. That's How I Feel. Listen, thanks so much, guys. Thank really you. appreciate Thank you. it. <laughs> yeah. Cheers.
the wonderful Dory Freeman there with uh, percussionist and banjo player uh, Nicholas there as well. Uh, if you didn't manage to catch her last night on uh, on Thursday night there at St. Mickens Church in Dublin, part of Trad Fest, uh, you can still catch her. Still, I'm looking at my inv- invisible watch here. Mm. There's still time to uh, to run up to Belfast and catch her tonight. Yeah, how long does it take to get to Belfast? Oh, it's only a couple of hours. Yeah. Yeah, you they probably get up do there. It. No worries. Quick bit Let to us eat. know if you do that. <laughs> yeah, if you do actually take our advice, because I don't think anyone's ever done that before either. No. It would be a first. Uh, next up, oh gosh, Al, I'm starting to get what? a bit hungry, I'll be honest. Mm, yeah. It's nearly dinner time. You know what, Al? I want meat. This so is Harry. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it's the same, so do I. Oh, excellent. So do I. Continue. This is Harry Champion. Superstar of the, uh, what do you call it? Music Hall. The Music Hall tradition in England. This is a song from 1925. This is Harry Champion with I Want Meat. I'm very fond of what I like and what I like I like. When they tell me to eat more fruit, my inside goes on strike. The roast beef of old England's good enough for me to die. And when my dinner time comes round, you're sure to hear me say, I want meat, I want meat, 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 meat. I like it cold, I like it hot, like it in a stew in the old hot pot. A leg of pork, leg of lamb, juicy steak, a slice of ham. I don't want fruit from Alabama. <laughs> I want meat, 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 meat. I want meat, I want meat, 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 meat. I like it cold, I like it hot. Like it in the soup in the old hot pot. Leg of pork, leg of lamb. Juicy steak and a slice of ham. I don't want fruit from Melabam. I want meat, meat, meat. Now when the world was flooded out and all built the ark, he didn't take his animals inside just for a laugh. He knew the grub to live on, he knew it wasn't fruit. Each meal time when it came around, you hear the family who I want meat, mama meat, 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 mama meat, 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 meat. I like it cold, I like it hot. Like it in a soup when the old dot pot. Lick a pork, a lick a lamb. Juicy steak or a slice of fame. I don't want fruit from Melabam. <laughs> I want meat, 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 let's sing then. I want meat, I want meat, mama meat, 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 meat. I like it cold, I like it hot. Like it in a zoo when the old dot bot. Lick a pork, a lick a lamb. Juicy steak and a slice of bam. I don't want fruit from Melabam. I want meat, meat, meat. Now who wants a banana when he's worked for eight long hours? It's just like feeding tigers on a little bunch of flowers. Just fancy training boxers on an apple, grape or plum. One punch in the larder would send him to kingdom come. He wants meat, he wants meat, mama meat, 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 meat. He likes it cold, he likes it hot. Likes it in the stew and the old hot pot. A leg of pork, a leg of lamb. Juicy steak and a slice of ham. He don't want fruit from Melabam. <laughs> I want meat, 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 meat. I want meat, I want meat, 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 meat. I like it cold, I like it hot. Like it in the zoo when the old dog pot. A leg of pork, leg of lamb. Juicy steak and a slice of ham. I don't want fruit from Melabam. I want meat, meat, meat. He wants meat, meat, meat. That was Harry Champion with I Want Meat there. Um, Yeah, so it's come to the end of yet another episode. It has. Of Rhythm August Roots. And we still haven't gotten our meat. And we still haven't gotten our meat, but we'll have some meat after this, won't we, Al? Probably, yeah. Uh, Rhythm and Roots will, of course, be back next week, 4.30pm, Fridays, as usual, on Near FM. You can catch it on Near FM 90.3. You can also listen to it on the TuneIn app, no matter where you are in the world. And uh, we will be podcasting, so if you missed a show or you'd like to hear it again or you'd like to share it with your pals... Uh, you can hop on Spreaker or Spotify or any of those places and have a listen on the podcast. So uh, from myself and Altron over there sitting perched atop. You can't see this at home, but every time we do an 
episode, Alex actually has a, a man-sized bird cage. I do, yeah. That he, he, I got it delivered a few months ago. Yeah, and it's. I think it's improved the show a lot. He he gets inside the mm. bird cage. He has these little um, shoes that uh, clip on to the. Um, they the, were very expensive. I had to get them in uh, Japan. There was only one. Yeah. guy who makes them has been making them for like 30 years yeah well it's a generational yeah. thing but of course um al al perches inside the birdcage we close mm-hmm. it we lock him in there we do the show and then he comes out so al will be popping out of the birdcage now mm-hmm. uh and we're going to gr- peck on a few uh, uh bits of food but do enjoy old black dog from dick justice and we'll see you all again next week good night good night old black dog when i'm gone lord lord Honey, where you been so long? My daddy, he's a gambler. He taught me how to play. Told me to bet my money on a suit, jack and trade. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone, Lord, Lord. Oh, black dog, when I'm I'm gone when I come back with the ten dollar bill and it's honey where you been so long Been all around Kentucky, the state of Fort Tennessee. Anywhere I hang my hat, it'll be home, sweet home to me. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone, Lord, Lord. Oh, black dog, when I'm gone. When I come back with the ten dollar bill And it's honey where you been so long See the train ain't coming Back in my casket alone Going to the graveyard Where the grave will be my home Oh, black dog, when I'm gone, Lord, Lord Oh, black dog, when I'm gone When I come back with the ten-dollar bill And it's honey, where you been so long